Hello. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Welcome along. Noise. That was the cat. <laughs> Never mind. The cat's gone. Bye, Gizmo. Don't look at me like that. Whatever. Anyway, hi, everybody. Welcome along. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time of day it is for you. Happy Sunday. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all happy. As happy as can be. Or something. Um, Dragoon uh, is in my Discord chilling channel. All right, dude, I'm, I'll pop on, pop on in there a little bit later, but I'm going to be talking about some stuff. Uh, what's up, crazy? <laughs> Doom Noodle, what's up, dude? Welcome along. AC Blazer, uh, the Mad Dragon, Dewey Nui, what's up? Uh, over on YouTube, Timothy, Daniel, what's up, dude? Stephen, Peter, Ellie, welcome along. Um, Boise, Solo, Red Baron, what's up, dude? Iron Wolf, what's up, man? Welcome along, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, they suspend Master Build at it again. Don't know about that. Bye. <clears throat> But what I, what I am going to do today is um, Elion has graciously allowed me to stream yet again in the, the latest 10.6 build, which is a little bit more functional than the one uh, that we had on the, the Q&A live stream, as in the fact that we can actually spawn stuff in and use it. So that's good. There's still some problems with it um, that they're trying to iron out. So the CPU stats page still doesn't work quite right. Uh, the CPU numbers don't quite update when you add extra core extensions, but we know the base numbers, so we can still work with it. The good thing is we can spawn stuff in and we can actually build stuff, so that's what we're going to do today. Today I'm going to see if I can bring a couple of my builds, the more sort of useful ones, into some sort of CPU compliance um, and tear them up as best as possible. I've got a couple of SVs and CVs um, that I've brought in behind me here. And we're going to see if we can get them to tier 0, 1, and 2. The STO3 long hauler being tier 2. Everything else tier 1. Possibly. <laughs> Although, I think the cargo frog might struggle. I think we might have to embrace tier 2 on that one as well. So, what does that all mean? Well... Basically, tier one, you can build in a large constructor and you don't need any rare components for it. Well, you need a flux coil, okay? Um, now, flux coils do take, I think they take rare elements uh, to build them. Let's see, flux, 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 flux. So it requires Neo and Sathium. To be honest, you're probably going to get one of these from a POI fairly early on. Um, but yeah, you need Neo and Sathium to build a flux coil, and then you can build... Um, where are they? There they are. You can build the T1 uh, CPU extension. This, oh, damn it. The T1 CPU extension doubles your CPU a lot allowance. So you're, for an SV, your base CPU is 6,000. So that one upgrade takes you up to 12,000 bits and bobs and then tier two so i'm going to stick with i'm just going to stick with svs for now because i think it's just slightly easier to understand and then figure out everything else from there uh tier two is it then requires one of these obtronic relay things and it's these new obtronic relay things that that are sort of slightly rarer drops small obtronic bridge sorry so they, you can't make those, you have to find them. A bit like auto minor cores, really. Um, and they look like that. So, and they'll be in like um, yellow, red containers and stuff like that from POIs. Uh, Fluff dude, thank you for the bits, that's awesome. Very cool, very cool. Um, welcome along everybody that's just joined as well. How's it going? Dragoon is on, <laughs> Dragoon is on both. You're on Twitch and YouTube. I love the commitment. Awesome stuff. Hellfire, what's up dude? Welcome along. Matthew Rogers, what's up? Thomas, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
So yeah, it's only tier two where you start to have to try and loot stuff. So what I want to do is try and get everything either tier zero, one, or at the most two, because I think two is just about achievable early game. Once you start taking some basic POIs, you're probably going to luck out and get maybe a couple of these Optronic Bridges. And they also said that you can buy them from traders as well. Don't know what the prices and stuff are yet, but we'll probably find out. Um, YouTube on the tablet, Twitch on the laptop. <laughs> Jaguar, man. Awesome. Uh, commitment. I love it. So, uh, what I'm going to start with is the old Nightshade here, right? Which is the Mark V one. Which is probably the... Um, the more advanced and what you'll notice is it's freaking crazy right now um it's just a bit chaotic and what you'll probably find is a lot of your own svs are probably the same when you bring them into 10.6 you'll be like what the hell is going on and it's because they've completely changed well, not completely but they have drastically changed the way that thrusters and rcs's work so thrusters are a little bit more powerful now and rcs's well they contribute the the spin basically but everything else can be done by the thrusters and if you place the thrusters well enough you don't need RCS's so the first thing I'm going to do to the old nightshade here I'm going to try and get this thing into below tier 2 so 12,000 CPU it's currently 13,000 CPU and I've just removed most of the RCS's as well so we might have a bit of a struggle here but we'll see what we can do because I think a nightshade is like entry level entry level first warp sv we've got to be able to we've got to be able to go spawn this in before we start looting some crazy stuff all right so that i think is all the rcs's let's just double check no, there's still two still two somewhere i'm gonna take all the rcs's out and see how she performs without any i just can't remember where i put them all <laughs> They're in weird places. They're, um... Do you know what? I have no idea. <laughs> where are the other two RCSs? No idea where I put these. I'm gonna have to use the, uh, show one HUD. Damn it. Literally! <laughs> I have no idea where they are. Okay, well, we can find stuff. Oh, uh, show on hard and show on hard. They're at the front. Ah, there we go. Right, right next to the cockpit. Right under the cockpit. Yeah, would not have guessed that. Okay. And I built the damn thing. I can't remember where I put everything. Uh, so what's that? That brings us to ten thousand. Bingo. So we're in tier one territory already. Um, let's see how she handles with no RCSs a second because she might she might be Yeah, see this is the issue here. That's my maximum Q and E action, which is far too slow. So I I can still turn and stuff, although again it's a bit sluggish. The thing with the nightshade is she's quite compact, so the thrusters aren't overly well spread out and also I believe on the top there she's only got little light thrusters so in this case I think I will need an RCS at least right um, <laughs> what a non-symmetrical build I haven't got that far yet hang on bear with what is that is that just a block it is perfect I'm gonna stick a single RCS in this ship and we'll see what a difference that makes let me just see if there's a better central location. I don't think there is. I think that is the best one. I want to put it central. Bingo. It's a little bit better, but it's still more sluggish than what I'd hope. And that brings us up to 11,000. So, ooh, if we put another one in... Let me just grab a bunch here. If we take it up to two RCS's and let's put them at the back there 
that brings us up to 11,099. Bang on the 12,000 limit of tier one. And actually, that's pretty reasonable now. <laughs> so in order to get a nightshade style or level craft, and at the moment, bear in mind guys as well, did I turn auto break off? I did apparently. Um, if I put the nightshade in the factory here, where is it? My up from on SVs, of course. Nightshed. Um, can't put it in the factory. I'm in creative mode. But the point is, it's materials: uh, iron, copper, cobalt, silicon. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, tell a lie. That's because. <laughs> that's because I haven't actually upgraded the core yet, have I? Duh. Um, where is the core? There it is. Right. Uh, so, the difficulty with that is that A, I can't see anything. And it needs to be touching. See, that's a small thruster. That's a pentaxid tank. And we got generators either side right it needs to be touching the core so I can bring one of these in and I just need one but it needs to be touching the core and below it is the warp I'm gonna have to move one of these generators basically so let's let's move both of them into the cavity that was left by the RCS's oh, and you know what <clears throat> When they do this update, you'll have to rebind your controls. I have to keep doing this because I keep switching between the two versions. There we go. Right. Why can't I put it in above there? Why can't I put it? What's wrong with that? Oh, right, yeah. That'll do it. Right, so if I remove the two generators next to the core now. Reason being, I just want to keep it sort of balanced. And that means I can actually put tier 2 in there if I want, if I want or need to. Because uh, tier 2 would take us up to 24,000. And the problem with the shield generator costing 16,000... Yeah, that one, that one shield thing, if you put a shield in the night shade, it would take you well over CPU. But it might only take you... Oh, I don't know, actually. Let me just save this a second and see what it does to the blueprint costs. So I just save as Right, so it does have a Neo Zathium cost. Which is to be expected because the core upgrade to tier one has Neo and Zathium in it, has a has a um flux coil. Okay. Hmm. That's gonna make tier zero SVs very desirable, but also very weak. Okay, that was that's gonna be our next challenge. Okay, what if I upgrade this then? to a tier 2 SV 24,000 CPU that should give us yep and then I insert a shield generator because this thing comes with a slot for a shield generator that takes us over the CPU 28,000 hasn't updated our efficiency now it should still work though Why don't we put fuel in it? Even though it's over CPU. It should still work. It is a little bit more sluggish. I can tell that uh, things are being nerfed. But it works. And I think the cost is fair for a shield in the little bit of performance handling sacrifice so that's a tier 2 nightshade 
the shield. Um, yeah, so the efficiency stuff isn't updating properly. But that's fine. This is sort of stuff that we know about. So, let me take that back out. Take that, take that. I'm going to leave the space there. To upgrade to tier 2. But ultimately, this bad boy is now a tier 1 nightshade. Uh, oh, i tell you what, let me... Sorry, let me do one other thing. Before I... Stop putting anything in there. Let's do that and then that. Save that. Weird. And now the costs are still near and Sathium. It's not asking for those Obtronic things in the factory. So even though... Even though in order to build an Obtronic... A, 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 sorry, a... Um, a core extension even to build a core extension you need those optronic blah blahs bridges and matrices in the factory you don't you just use um neo and Sathium. so actually the only time you would need this is if you were building in survival mode not using the factory right sorry just had to go through all of that ignore the chat for a second so apologies um let's catch up a little bit what's going down well, wow we found the flashlight button all right <laughs> does it fly better now that it doesn't have the cpu penalty applied um let's Back to tier one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell mostly in the sort of the roll and the pitch and the yaw. It's a little bit flickier. Not by much though. Whatever um, punishment it was putting on the ship, it's barely noticeable. It just felt a little bit heavier with a shield generator, which I suppose makes sense. But yeah. That tier one that's perfectly light and maneuverable so that nightshade absolutely fine tier one nightshade good job um tony what's up dude flight interface reminds me of elite dangerous i wouldn't know i've not played it so what will the tier zero be just little runners pretty much yeah pretty much do your tier ones um anything anything before you get a flux coil basically Little runabouts. We'll build a tier zero in a second. I just want to see if we can um, get these ships into line so that you guys can see what you might need to do with your own vessels. Cargo frog is going to be interesting. <clears throat> um, what did I miss over on YouTube? Does it matter which way around you place the RCS? It does not. No, no, no. It's fine. Uh, health I don't know. My, my day is fine, so it's gr it's good actually. Thank you very much. I have a uh, day off work tomorrow, so it's all good. Tier one in the bag. <laughs> Spanish. So how how I see things going, at least the personal playthrough, there will be unlock levels of builds within each tier, which will most likely increase your blueprint factory and the workshop too. Yes. Yeah, I should imagine the workshop is going to get flooded with tier 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 stuff. Uh, in fact, well, Elion confirmed that they're going to be adding those search parameters to the workshop anyway, so... What's up, Sure, Welcome along. Good, mate. You are right. Any true multiplayer PvP ships to check out numbers in? Uh, well... I never got to use it, but... As far as Bane here, which is a 60 turret PvP ship uh, <laughs> with 12 million CV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The max, the max um, CV CPU is 1.6 million. 
so I'm a little bit over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remove the RCS is a good point. Um, I'm gonna find where the RCS is. Oh, there they are. I think I still need RCSs in this thing, to be fair. Uh, but I could probably get away with just like a T T two. I just can't remember where I put all the RCSs. Yeah. Are these T2 anyway, are they? Yeah, they are. This is very much a non-CPU compliant build. I think that's all the RCSs. That takes you down that takes you down to 8 million. So I'm still well over. <laughs> it's it's chill, yeah, it's not happening. But bear in mind, like the Fast Bane is is designed. Uh, it's quite an extreme PvP ship, as in that it's literally just armor and decoy generators and, and all the turrets. So, yeah, it's probably not not a fair comparison. But don't forget as well that whatever server you're playing on might not even turn on CPU. It might just be like, yeah, keep it to the size class because like. Like Alion confirmed during the uh, Q&A, CPU is not performance related at all. It's all about trying to um, categorize your builds and, and make you think more about the function of your ships and stuff like that. So we'll have to see. I don't know. I don't know what they'll do. So this one's going to be a bit of a challenge because... I want to get it into tier 2, I believe, which is 24,000. It's currently 51,000. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, is that ship the biggest you've ever built? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's quite small, actually. The biggest I ever built, I think, was the Reaver's Wrath. Um... Which is a really old build of mine, so bear with. Actually, there's the Reaver's Wrath Prim, Prem, premium version of it, which was. This is the biggest motherfucker I've ever built. Um, like that door didn't want to open. Yeah, texturing and shaping and stuff is a bit. <laughs> 51 million. <laughs> <laughs> the super lifter, I think, is slightly longer. Um, but the like sheer weight and like 246 kilotons of mass is the, uh, the Reaver's Wrath. The super lifter is uh, a lot lighter than that, actually. Yeah, this thing's a bit of a monster. I was there, a bit of an old build of mine, so everything's sort of a bit dated. Fifty-one million CPU. Could probably say goodbye to builds like that on CPU runs, right? Um. The nag will be fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do the nag and another one. I am confident though, I can get the nag into tier 4 though. I think I can do that quite easily. 1.6 million. Should be doable. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Span should have a, um, a PI on it to see if any blocks were wrong blocks. Oh. Well, I don't think so, because it's not red, is it? It's... Like, if it's got illegal blocks. Yeah, yeah. Size class 30. <laughs> Absolute monster. Anyway, right. So, old Froggy here. Into 24,000. <laughs> uh, at 51,000 currently. I think this is going to take some doing. 
the frog, I, I would say, is a tier two SV. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be tier three. Yeah. <clears throat> so straight away, obviously, RCSs. Quite a few of those. So when she's full of cargo, which is fairly heavy laden, and the shield generator, unfortunately, is going to have to go as well. And that brings us down to 24, 3, 4, 1. So not a lot to lose. And then she's compliant, really. Um, I tell you what, I'll lose four of the guns. There you go, 23, 3, 4. If I get some steel blocks, I can reshape that here. Bit of a shame, but um, honestly, she's a cargo SV. Why does she need so many guns, right? Couple more antennae. Twenty-three, three, nine, three. Not bad. And that means that she's still got thirty-two thousand SU storage. No, no, no. The max is the max is forty-eight. So this is just tier two. So the base tier zero is just your core. All right. So having a core will give you in an SV six thousand CPU. Taking that to tier one will give you 12,000. Tier two, 24. Tier three, 48. Well, obviously, the higher tier you go, the more resources you need and the higher uh, cost in uh, Neo and Sathium these extensions require. So the frog, I don't think has any Neo, I could be wrong, it has a warp drive and Shield generator, yeah. So I mean, it's costing the rest of Sycosium anyway. Bit of extra Neo Sath in order to bring it to tier two isn't going to be that much of an issue. Problem I now have, however, is that the core is in a really stupid place. It's always been in a stupid place. It's in a very stupid place. Um. Hmm. Uh, and what Alion said yesterday is when you lose, oh, I tell you what, there's a perfect place for it next to the warp drive here, isn't there? When you lose um, core extensions, then you lose that CPU count. So if you just lose the core extension, for example, then you get the full punishment of being over the CPU limit. So there we go. So that should bring us up to 24,000. We're at 23,415. Let's make sure it actually flies though because I've taken all the RCSs out. Um, and I suspect we need to put some fuel in there first. She's not a fighter. And this is obviously dry weight. She turns and flies fine. Now, obviously, with a full 400 ton lifting capacity, eh, it might be a bit different. But I don't need like a cargo SV to roll all that much. Literally, I'd fly something like the Nightshade in, take out whatever turret or two turrets or whatever I could take with just the Nightshade with no shields, and then, then use this to come in and loot it. But that flies absolutely fine with no RCSs. Just double check that fact. RCS zero. Damn! <laughs> hey Hummel, what's up dude? Um, sorry, Hummel. 
got a pronunciation on that wrong for so long <laughs> and, and now I just it's just habit um, Mondo is it still flying when over the limit because you're in creative um, no I, I was in a creative before when I plonked the super lifter down and that didn't move at all admittedly I wasn't in space I was down on a planet um, but yes CPU efficiency punishments should uh, be in creative as well otherwise it's extremely difficult to test your ships isn't it um, I don't know if uh, Humor can you confirm that if I go over CPU limit in creative mode does the efficiency um, punishments on or whatever you want to call it efficiency tax let's say does that take effect in creative mode I think it does. Hellfire later, dude. Thanks for joining. Do two extends and have to touch with the core. They do, Baron. Yes, they do. So that's tier two cargo frog. I haven't had to take any deco off, lose any thrusters. I've taken four guns off, but that's fine. Six gats on a cargo ship is a bit much, maybe. And that's 23415 CPU, so there's even like a little bit of leeway in there. And we've got two fridges, ammo, uh, armor lockers, O2 station, constructors, and like I said, 32,000 SU storage. Tier 2 cargo frog. Done. Um, <clears throat> it possibly should take effect at the moment also in creative, yeah. So you can judge if you are over or below the CPU. Yeah, that's what I figured. I mean, I know that when that, when we put a shield in the nightshade and it went over, I definitely felt a difference in the performance. So I think it is. The only thing it's not it's difficult to tell because uh, the efficiency in the stats page isn't updating uh, when when you're over. So this SV is a fighter. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't already have a lot of uh, cargo. It has no cargo. <laughs> oh no, it does. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Just auto group that again. There's two container controllers, 1,200 each, not much at all. And they're just in the front here. Um, yeah, the main problem with the Nighthawk is the buried thrusters. There's just a lot of them. So when the change to have uh, clear thruster ports comes in, that might be an issue. But for now, it's fine. We can take out the RCSs. Standard practice now. That's there was a lot in the Nighthawk because it's a fighter. She needed to perform. What she didn't have though was a shield generator. And I question whether she still needs one because of the way I designed her in such a way I don't need that many O2 tanks in fairness two will do designer in such a way that as long as you're facing incoming fire the armor should should take it um, the gats will go first and then there's this sort of spacing here where you've got a few blocks before you start getting into trouble so against like a laser turret POI, you should be able to take out all the turrets with minimal damage, really. Um, tier 2, I was going to aim for on this one as well. So again, a bit of Neo and Sathium requirements. And we're at 19,000 with no RCSs, which means I think we can put back a couple of RCSs and get some good roll going. 
So let's put one on that side and one on that side. That takes us up to 20,000. We've still got a bit, bit more to play with. A bit slow on the roll still. I would like a bit more response, so I'm going to... Two more RCSs in there. And centralise these ones. That takes us up to 22,000. Still a bit sluggish. Turn and stuff is still a bit sluggish. Let's see if we can add two more in there. Because it's it's made of hardened steel, so I think it's quite a bit heavier. Alright. Is this gonna take us over? Twenty three seven seven three. No, it's not. That doesn't seem any different. <laughs> uh, why don't you use console commands replace blocks to replace RCSMs with pyramids, for example? Uh, yeah, we could do that. I'm just at the moment, I'm just taking them out and putting them back as a test. The turns a little bit better now, but that roll is still a bit diabolical. But. That might be more to do with my thruster placements. She's still pretty fast and maneuverable. It's good enough. So uh, tier 1 is 12,000, tier 2 is 24,000. You remember, you're forgetting tier 0. Um, <clears throat> plenty of room to add a shield gen 2. Yeah, I mean, we need to add the core extensions in here um, to tier 2. And there's the core. What is this? Just a block. Above it. It's just a block. Not a great deal of room here. So you need to add double um, extensions each time. So one for tier one, two for tier two and four for tier three I believe yeah I can't put a left or right so it's gonna have to go above and below I don't know if the, the the extensions daisy chain like that or do they have to connect to the core oh they do daisy chain yay there we go then sorted so you can have them all in one long line that's good that's 24,000. So that now costs 120 Neo and 328 Sathium. But it would cost Neo and Sathium anyway because it's got armored, um, hardened steel blocks. So no problem. Um, Spanish, do, do hovers have more CPU compared to SVs? I mean, remember in, in hover vessels, you don't need thrusters in all directions. So, at least you're saving on the thruster cost. Uh, so, CPU is 50 for each hover engine. And where's the small engine? There it is. 40 for a small thruster so 88 for a medium
So I guess because you're not doing up and down thrust, it pretty much balances out. It's actually cheaper, I think. Um, Spanj Zubrid has a point in that do they have to chain and more importantly do they actually have to touch the core to begin with yes they have to touch the core to begin with and then they do chain because that's what I've just done here so this is two extensions next and the first one connects to the core as long as one of them is connected to the core and the other ones is connected to that then it works so you can just have them in a long line Do you think a shield heavy SV with homing missiles for defense would be effective? Yes, I do. I think a shield. Well, I think this is going to spawn a different type of, of fighter because your shields are 16,000, right? So that's a proper. Already, you're looking at. You're looking at tier 3 anyway because there's no way. Well, you might be able to get a tier 2 in because it's 24,000. You're not going to have much of a ship behind it. Um, so to be honest most ships with shields are going to start at tier 3 to be effective but like I said with the, 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 the way the factory works with this at the moment you're just adding more Neo and Sathium costs to it so <clears throat> I don't think it's going to make much difference um, so that is what do we get that to? We got a twenty-three seven eight. So that's that's tier two. Nighthawk and the cargo frog are tier two. Tier one nightshade with tier two expansions. Um, there was. I just want to bring this in. I haven't finished this. This was something I was messing around with. Um, the other day off camera this yeah this is 18,000 CPU I was trying to get this under 10, 12 but I wanted to have a tier 1 cargo frog but it, it's not possible not with the amount of thrusters that you need in order to lift 400 tons that's what I was benchmarking it against so um I might finish this and just have another tier two cargo lifter, but yeah, this is, it's got the 32,000 SUs of storage, armor locker, O2 fridge, and I think there's a constructor in there as well. Even if I take all that out, even if I take the warp drive out, even if I strip it down to the bare minimum there's no RCS's in here um, the fact that I've got all these lifting thrusters here is what is taking it over 12,000 so it does look like the tier your tier 0 and your tier 1's are not going to have much in the way of storage capacity granted that's 32,000 which you don't necessarily need you don't need 32,000 SU to um, have 400 tons in there but when you're looting POIs it's definitely bloody helpful anyway so yeah that was a bit of a failed experiment really to get to tier 1 tier 1 you are really looking at something like this okay we're gonna try and build a tier 0 SV in a minute but let's see if we can Bring the short hauler, the STO2 and 3 into some kind of... Because I would like the O2 here to be tier 1, which is 40,000, and it's currently 88,000. <laughs> so, yeah. This is going to be... This is going to be a little bit more tougher. Right. Let's see what we got. CV. Why are sprouts in the CV thing? Anyway, anyway. T1 CPU uh, extension. Uh, where is my core? I've forgotten where I put it. 
There it is. Can I have me ventilator somewhere else, maybe, or just just move the Wi-Fi down a bit. Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's forty thousand, but we're at eighty-eight thousand CPU. Okay, first things first. Move our RCSs. Didn't even have any. They must have. I just don't know where they are. Where did I put them? <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, signals are going off. You're gonna shut up. <laughs> Where did I put the RCSs? Right at the front. This thing is so small. There we go, there they are. Right, bang, bang, bang. I should probably turn symmetry mode on. Right, no RCSs. Hopefully. RCS missing, yeah. So we're at zero on RCSs. Good. That's brought us down to 43,000. Okay. Does she still fly? Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, there's something wrong here. Whoops, the daisy. Woo, crikey. Yeah. She's still behaving like she's got CPU. Um, uh, no, she's still behaving like she's got RCSs. That was crazy. Jesus AC, alright. I'm trying to do stuff. So, um, what's going on? I don't know. Do the CPU tiers spawn? Uh, yes, they do. Because the CPU extensions are in the tech tree. So, ones are at 7, 10, 2s are at 12, and 15 for CVs, and 20 for tier 3s. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could take out some of the extra bits, Jago. We'll do that. Need viewers, need a viewer control shock collar to get his attention to read chat. Jesus, you guys are very demanding, aren't you today? There's a lot to cover today. It's why I'm I'm trying to get through it all. So I do apologise for not paying that much attention to the chat right now. Uh, Badger, what's up, dude? He says, Hey, Spanish. I think for creative mode for weights and volumes, you had to go in and change config file for the creative scenario. Yes, for weights and volumes, you do. Yeah. How about shield heavy cargo and minimal guns? Well, I mean, you put a shield in anything, Sean, it's tier three straight away. So at that level, you could pretty much have whatever you want. You can have original, original SVs. Need tiered shields. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, why didn't you use console commands replace blocks? Have well, we done that already? Do you think a shield heavy SV? Yep. Um. We're behind on YouTube then. Spanish, do bases need CPU? They do, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Although their numbers are quite high. Space station CPU going to be better or worse than ground bases? Um, probably worse. Because you have gravity generators on space stations and you don't need those on bases. You might have a lot more ventilators because, you know, uh, you want to... Your ground base is on a breathable planet. I don't know. Uh, Merlin, what's up, dude? Welcome along. So, yeah. From level 7, you get your tier 1 uh, extensions. Level 10, you get your CV tier 1. So, 7, 12, and 20, basically. Yep. Um, <laughs> yes, it increases on long level. Stuck at tier zero until level seven. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna build a tier zero in a minute. So, um, where did I get to on this thing? Right, 
we were at 43,000. Uh, but it was crazy. It was acting crazy. It still is acting crazy. <laughs> it's got no RCSs, but it's like tripping balls. <laughs> Eliad! <laughs> What's going on? Why is it tripping balls? Right, let's get rid of the small constructors. We don't need you guys. We don't need two fridges and we don't need two armor lockers, even though that opens that. Uh, get rid of a bit of deco there. Get rid of one of those. And that brings us down to 41,000, okay. Uh, what else can we get shot of? We got two lots of 320,000 SUs of storage. Um, let me get rid of these side. Sentries, 41,500. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to get rid of two turrets, aren't we? Uh, well, I could probably get rid of some of the down thrust, in fairness. I don't necessarily need eight down thrusters. I know they're only smalls, but if I get rid of four of them. There you know now. Milling, ding, 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 ding. Bingo. Alrighty. Alright, so that's pretty much minimal sacrificing. Oh, no, 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 no. Bring that back because that's a container extension. Um, what are you a container extension of? You're an ammo container, yeah? The 24,000 ammo. That's a ridiculous amount. Get rid of that then. Don't need that much. It's a bit of remodeling is required in here. So we've still got a large constructor. Why is that like that? That's rubbish. Still got a large constructor in here, which is pretty good. Um, passenger seat. Let me just remodel this interior a bit. We need, we've got an O2. Let's get a med chamber in here. Clone chamber at least. I'm blind. I'm blind! <laughs> Where is everything? <laughs> There's the uh, cockpits. Um, O2 station we got on the roof already. We've got food processor, we've got fridge. Got an armor locker. Medical device. Does that include clean chambers now, does it? I don't know. Let's add it in. Alright. Does that one? Yes, it does. What's the unlock level of this thing? Unlock level 10, so it's fine, we can have it then. Another one there then. There we go. Full med suite in the short hauler. Come on, let's go. <laughs> uh, operator, who was that dude? Welcome along. When you change the CPU extension, there has to be one from each tier, not a mix or whatever extension you want to use. So, the way the extensions work is you have a core, you then add a single tier one extension to bring it to tier one you can then remove that extension and add two tier two extensions to bring it into tier two 
you can then remove those two and add four tier three extensions to bring it to tier four. Or you can keep all of the previous extensions on there as well as have, so you can have one tier one, two tier twos, and four tier threes all connected together to a single core and that means if you lose one you're not going all the way back down to uh, the base core uh, CPU limit there's a bit of redundancy that you can have in there so you can you can mix and match but in order to get the CPU numbers of each tier you need to have one tier one two tier twos and four tier threes in order to unlock each tier of points you can't just have one of each you know one of each you're just going to be tier one still if you have four tier twos you're still only going to be tier two you're not going to get any higher okay yes that does mean that it's going to be using more space i was uh just putting my tier one up here about to move the old wi-fi thing along a little bit But uh, that STO2 is now tier one. So that is now a starter CV once more. And actually, it's got a bit of an upgrade, really, because we've got a full med suite now. Um, done away with the two fridges, the two armor lockers, it was completely pointless. We've lost some defensive, we've lost two sentry guns, it's nothing really. And uh, it still, for some bizarre reason, is batshit crazy. <laughs> With no RCSs. <laughs> Why? Why is it so crazy? And the thing keeps flicking on and off. Yeah. It's a work in progress, guys. That's why you don't have your hands on it yet. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. But the point is, tier 1. How's the airlock? Oh yeah. <laughs> true, true, yeah, yeah. Aesthetically, I wanted to have um, this ramp rather than just a straight flat shutter door there. Unfortunately, that does mean that it's not airtight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could change it. It just looks so boring. Yay! <laughs> Lame, but whatever. There you go. Airtight. <laughs> Who wants airtight anyway? Whatever. Anyway, that's a tier one starter CV. So the STO2 short hauler. It's still relevant, baby. She's still relevant. Right. Moving on up to tier two then. So, um, what was tier what? So 40,000, so tier two is 80,000, yeah? Tier two, 80,000. Oh boy, uh, this, this might be a bit of a struggle. That's 2.6 million. Yeah, anyway, might struggle to get that down to, to, down to 80,000. Sorry, sorry wifey. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I think I might need to um, <laughs> curtail <laughs> get guest appearance. The wife didn't realise I was streaming. Um, I might need to curtail some thrusters or some guns or a mixture of all of them. There's a lot of thrusters on here. This thing can lift 85 kilotons. Uh, so okay, but she should be tier two. She shouldn't be tier three. So this is tier three anyway. <laughs> tier three, tier three is one point six million. Is that right? Oh wait, I've got it wrong. This is two hundred thousand, so it's four hundred thousand. I'm so confused. Hang on, you're tier one at four hundred thousand, so it's eight hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, eight hundred thousand times two is one point six million. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so eight hundred thousand. Ha! Hmm. Huh. <laughs> She's got a lot of thrusters. 
So I think we're going to have to take those off straight away. But let's do the usual. Let's get rid of the RCSs first. And then deal. Let's, uh, let's symmetry this bad boy up. <clears throat> okay. RCS. RCS. CS. Oh. That'll remove the core. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Core's on the other side of that. Entirely symmetrical. Let's uh, let's turn your signals off as well then, shall we? Pain in the butt. Yeah, there should be an extension there. thrusters hasn't she <laughs> I forgot about the big boy thrusters <laughs> yeah 85 kiloton lift capacity why would you ever need that lift that much there's a ridiculous amount of lift isn't it um, that's a lot of combat still basically <laughs> it can just lift right I think that's all the RCS's yep RCS missing that takes us down to 1.9 million. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, where did I get to? Numbers are complicated. You're damn right. A frowning lizard, what's up, dude? He says, hey, Spanish fellow Englishman here. Lol, recently started playing again. Your videos have helped a lot. Cheers. You're welcome, dude. I'm glad they're helpful. Also, uh, got to save the queen. And all that. Will POIs have to comply to CPU limitations? Nope. POIs, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> all about the CPU. Hell yeah, man. Uh, what better one big thruster or small ones for CPU? Now, I did, I did do a bit of trying to figure that out with SVs uh, and I figured out that having four small jets was more cost effective than having one medium jet um, but that might not be true when this goes live <laughs> CPU numbers will change Um, she was sneaky coming to get you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just got back from um, singing practice. So, Spanish, make it laugh for your fans. Why? At what? Need something to laugh at first. Not just laugh on cue. These doors are awesome. Yeah, they are good. Um, Hummel says T4 for HV is 24k. Da -da 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 -da. Priority four. What's up, dude? Welcome along. Yeah, new CPU. Yeah, 10.6 alpha uh, with the CPU limitations. From now on, we need to add a faction that is in the player faction. All bases need to be POIs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the alien cores and stuff will just like give a gazillion CPU. Um, right, we took all RCSs out of this thing, and this thing's still cray cray. Bear in mind, we don't even have a shield generator. I have a space for one, but there isn't one here, as it is. And at the moment, we're still at 1.9 million, and we need to get down to 800,000. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Okay, we've got four max container controllers. We've got... We haven't got small constructors. Um... That's the ammo controller with 80,000, which is a lot. 
two fridges, eight plots. Ah, this might be a bit of a lost cause, guys. This van might be a bit difficult. Full med suite. I just think like getting rid of little devices and stuff isn't going to cut it. So we're going to have to start cutting thrusters. Which is fine because we have a ridiculous number of thrusters here. The downwards ones can go first. They're the least important. Gravity does the rest, basically. Uh, sideways ones. Oh, we have a lot of side thrust, don't we? It's just a bit unnecessary. Um, you have a fifth container group opposite the ammo and controller block. Has to be placed after spawn. Grow plots, I believe. They don't use any CPU because they're just buckets of dirt. What is going to suck is you going through all this and then the numbers will change and have to do it all again. Yeah, well, don't worry about me. I'm doing this for you, your benefit, really. What's going to suck is the design and uh, effort that I put into the looks um, of something like this is now screwed because I'm about to take out so many thrusters. <laughs> no. Um, 1.6. Basically, all the um, all the thrusters linked to the signal logic are coming out. Why are you on full burn at the moment, Susie? You're not going anywhere. You're just like burning thrust, and you're just like not going anywhere. I can hear it. <laughs> Is it doing anything? I don't know what's going on. Alright, music. Music's gone weird. There we go. Uh, yeah, alright. Just gonna take out all the bloody excess thrusters. 1.4! This is gonna be. This is just gonna kill. <sighs> I mean, 1.4, that's. That's now well within the 1.6 million required for tier 3. <laughs> and this is a starter CV. Well, it's not. It's it's like a it's a mid mid game CV. Bloody hell. I'm going to have to take out one of the um container controllers, aren't they? Because I mean these each of these That's 960 CPU and each one is another so basically ran out to a thousand and you need I think 36 or something like that container extensions to get to the 320,000 SU so there's 37,000 40 41,000 CPU so if I take 40, let's say that's 82,000 off. Yeah. That won't do it. That'll only take me down to 1.3. Ammo controller too, yeah, true. But still, even with the ammo controller, that's still only taking me down to 1.2 at most. And it needs to get down to 800,000. So, Deco does use CPU, but it's marginal. It's like tiny amounts. I think the 
the problem with this ship is actually these things. Hundred and thirty three thousand each. And there's four of those. Um, I could probably take all these out. I added them in in order to lift the, the 85 kilotons. So I won't be able to do that now. Um, we'll take you out. Four turrets on top. Sentry out on each side as well. Sentries in the back, fine. It's 1.3. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's not going to be. I don't even think it's going to be worthwhile. Because in order to get it down to that level. I'd have to remove, I think, pretty much everything. Are these are advanced constructors? No, they're large. There's only two of those. And they take up what? Twenty thousand CPU each. There's forty thousand CPU in the constructors. I'll probably get rid of one and just have one constructor. A bit lame. Well, that then does open up the area for the CPU extensions, I suppose. Oh, it sucks, balls. Why is that removing the blocks behind it? Why is that removing the extensions behind it? Shift clicking on thin blocks and it's like, oh, I'll remove the blocks behind it. It makes no sense. Hell on. Right. Plastic. So remove a constructor. And that's another 20,000. But... <laughs> <clears throat> right, so let's figure this out then. These things... These things are ridiculous. Okay, so they they give me 200 mega newtons of thrust at 133,000 CPU. Uh, I'm going to need your, your help with this, guys. So, 200 mega newtons of thrust. These give 20 mega newtons of thrust. Hang about. That's not right. Oh, no, wait. Okay. Yeah, they're exactly 10%. So they'd make no difference then. If I had 10 of these or one of these, they'd both use up the same amount of CPU and the same amount of, give the same amount of force, which makes sense actually. <sighs> so I'd have to sacrifice the lift ability. You wouldn't be able to lift nearly as much. Grr. So I can have my four, I can have my four full SU container extensions, but I wouldn't be able to lift nearly as much. Mozo says, I think you've forgotten the aim here. The STO3 does everything as in multi-role. You need to focus on a role. It can't manufacture and lift and defend, etc. Choose a role. Yeah, no, I've, I've not forgotten the aim, Mozo. It's, it's, it's a case of trying to find out how much we can do. Why are you all the way up there? You should be down there. Hmm. 
I'm getting distracted. Three point two five. Three point five. See, I'd say its primary function was would be to lift. It's a hauler. It's in the name, the STO3 long hauler. All right. Play it your way then, Mozo. It needs to have some defense, though. It needs to be able to shoot drones. Not having any defense, that's crazy. Like, limited defense, sure. But none at all? That's craziness. Alright. I'll remove some of its fuel capacity. It's got a constructor. Still one point two million. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Got a lot of fuel capacity, actually, isn't it? Let's trim this down a bit. It's got a lot of O2 capacity. its ammo capacity quite significantly forty thousand should be fine <sighs> nothing one's builds Nah, it's painful. It's not right. <laughs> Ain't right, man. Ain't right. <laughs> We're still 1.2 million. It's just not happening. It's not happening with these thrusters in there. It's not happening with these container extensions. It's a hauler. God damn it. Um, Mondo, Spanish, do you know if because of the reduction in weaponry to satisfy CP limits, are they going to increase the destructive limits of each weapon to compensate? I do not believe so. As far as I'm aware, weapons are staying as is. Pseudo droid from XCAR. I don't understand. I'm still confused from the other day. Is the RCS going away? Not needed anymore. It will be extra add-on. If we needed, um, depending on the thruster layout, if your thrusters are on the outside and far apart and stuff, they can pretty much do the job of an RCS. But if your thrusters are sort of in the middle and clustered and stuff, then you might need an RCS in order to compensate um, for the thrusters' lack of uh, flexibility. Is that if that's even the right word? I don't even know. I mean, flexible, it's just power. Power. Take more fuel tanks out. It ain't gonna cut it. 
The only thing that will bring this down is if I remove these fucking great big thrusters. Alright. Fine. We're in CPU limit of tier 2. Well, it won't lift jack. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> So if you want to be able to lift anything, you need tier three, basically. Is that what? Is that what we're at? That's what we're at, isn't it? I could probably add some more of the medium thrusters in. No, that takes us back over again. <laughs> What's that? 80,081. Alright, okay. So I could probably trim something else. So let us off with just limited, limited, massively limited thrust capacity. <laughs> no shield generator. Hey, how, how did it go up? How did that go up? What? How did it go up? <laughs> I removed stuff and it went up. <laughs> Why? Is it because I added blocks? Is that what it is? That are these? These don't have a CPU, do they? Actual blocks? I understand. I have to remove the deco. They were all container extensions. Also, do these things, these projectors, do they have CPU? No, I don't think so. 78,000. Bingo. It hurts! <laughs> Physically hurts! God damn! But it is. <sighs> After great pain. <laughs> it is now a tier 2 ship, but I don't see any point in upgrading to this from that. Other than the garden, but its lift capacity is going to be basically the same. <clears throat> it's got four more thrusters than the STO2. That's it. But it weighs so much more than the STO2 anyway, so... I mean... It's got a specific role. It's supposed to be a lifter, but at the same time... It's got to be able to defend itself. You've got to have the thrusters in order to lift the weights and volume. I mean, this will lift. It will lift fine. It will lift like uh, a couple of POIs of loot. But it, it won't lift like if you dismantle, say, a big combat steel POI and you want to take the blocks back to base to be deconstructed. You're going to have to make several trips. Because it will only carry now 
maybe 200 combat steel blocks. If that. I could take the garden out, but we, we already know the the plot, they don't take CPU, so that's pointless. You may as well have a garden in here. The med stuff doesn't take up much CPU, I don't think. CPU. Doesn't actually, no, doesn't say it takes any CPU. I can't quite look at the uh, CPU tab at the moment because that's broken, but. It needs to have fuel capacity to run the extra thrust in order to lift. So it has a specific role. You're not going to take that into combat. You're not going to take it up against POIs. You're not going to do mass manufacturing in it. You've only got one constructor. What you're going to do is fill its cargo holes up and try and move it all from A to B. And on the way, if you get hit by drones or whatever, you need to be able to defend yourself. So... That doesn't quite work. So I think the CPU numbers need adjusting for CVs. I can manage SVs. We can manage the SVs. We've done the SVs no problem. I mean, that's fine. But yeah, I think I think CVs need a bit of work. That doesn't make any sense. Now I could restore that um, to tier three. I mean, what was it? Well, I think even under its... It was two point something million, wasn't it? And we... So tier three. I need four of these bloody extensions. All right. Bits and bobs. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Alright, this will take up 1. 1.6 million, although it's not quite updating, but trust me, it's 1.6 million. Four of those. Extend to level four. They have one, two, three, yeah, four. So 1.6 million. Um, We put these big boys back. I think I got rid of one of the extensions there by accident. somewhere else put them back that takes a 1.26 million so to get a 1.6 we could probably restore a lot of the thrusters that we took out or a lot of the fuel tanks but we need to try and get it down to an exact balance really That'll restore its full lifting capacity now. Oh, hello, cheeky. Get a couple of fuel tanks back because we need it to run the crazy amount of lift that we need to lift everything. Alright. 
I just think I can still manage with just the four. But I wonder if we can restore forward thrust 1.4. So max forward thrust, max lift thrust. I mean we can add we can add back our turrets they're not updating on one million four hundred and fifty seven thousand One million. Oh, it is updating. It's fine. Okay. So we can have our guns back. Three, four, four. Reverse thrust is fine. Side thrust is fine. Down thrust is fine. So up. CPU, 33,000. <clears throat> 1 1.49. Suddenly, I'm like, how am I adding in so much stuff? <laughs> when it was 2.1 million when we started, when we first spawned it in. Um... Is there always a fuel tank there? I don't think there was. I think there was generators there. Because we need extra power for those. That's T2s. We need one of those. T1s. One point five, I think. Not gonna stand there. I'm going to stand there though. Heat permeates. No, wrong ones. One point five. We had some of our ammo container controller back. Oh, wait, we don't have an ammo container controller now. <laughs> I filled it in. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Basically, long story short, we can pretty much restore the majority of the ship as it was forty thousand ammo capacity one point five three more fuel tanks where did those go? <laughs> Over there somehow. All right, okay. Oops. Yeah, 
we can pretty much restore most of the ship back to its apart from like one constructor I think um, the down thrust the side thrust and the reverse we can pretty much get that in 1.6 million but that makes that tier 3 um, which is fine like I say, it just adds more more neo and safetyum to the cost when you're doing it with a factory. But if you're building, if you're building in survival. Bear in mind, the only thing I really build in survival are bases. So everything else I spawn in. So I don't think, in all honesty, it's going to really affect me that much. Even if something that should be tier 2, such as the STO3, is actually tier 3. What does that mean? <laughs> well, something like... <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Four million. No, no, no. Take that back. Forty-six million, uh, seven hundred nine thousand. Think we can get that down to one point six million? Ah <laughs> <coughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Tier five. Tier five. The the no CPU limit ship. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> we'll burn the game down before we give her up. That's the spirit, Doom. That's the spirit. That's what I like to hear. I put so much work into this damn thing, you know? Look at that garden. Look how pretty. There's a lot of T2 RCSs in here, in fairness. So yeah, not a ship built for CPU, I think. Resigned to non-CPU games only, I think, this one. <laughs> oh dear. We're going about that Spanish, there is no way in hell. <laughs> no, I don't think there is. Uh, install a base core and mount a fountain on top. <laughs> uh, the Nagano was like the biggest source of inspiration for the first 500 hours of building. Hell yeah, Doom. That's awesome, man. That's really, I didn't know that. That's so cool. She has a special place in my heart. <laughs> and in mine, sir. And in mine. This is one of the, one of the sort of best builds I've ever done, really. It's just that, it's that ass. That sexy ass. Look at that ass. Shake it. Shake that ass. But anyway. Nagan Arters and ships like it are confined to non CPU games. Which, you know, is an option, so it's fine. You just don't have to play with the CPU on. It's all good. Um. New version of the Naga, the Nagana are neutered. <laughs> How much CPU is a grow plot? Zero. Um, what are you talking about, Kugu? Not steal other people's stuff, actually sit down and stream and build their own. Eh. I doubt they play the game, so I can't see them able to do it. Looks like two CVs docked together. Yeah, it does a bit, I suppose, actually. Like one on top of the other. Yeah, she's a good-looking bird. Uh, did you see Spanish try to load ammo, running after the superlifter? Oh yeah. Goddamn. Clumsy and like working a spreadsheet, moving things around. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> It's going to be interesting, I think, you know, the first sort of few months, I think, when CPU comes up, see what people can build under the limits. 
and how far people can stretch it, I suppose. Oh, see, I think I think things being max tier anyway. Like, if, if you built everything in tier three, it doesn't really impact the game if you, like me, use the factory all the time anyway. Because you're not having to put those rare um, components in the factory. You just put the raw resources in, like you normally do. So. It's all good. Okay. Uh, so, let's see if we can quickly whip together a tier 0 SV. A true starter. Let's grab some bits and bobs. 99 multi-tools. Okay. Starter block. Yep. It's going to be made out of plastic. Mm -hmm. well, I might add some steel at the front, maybe. But probably not very much. Uh, we are going to need a generator, a fuel tank, two, one of those, a fridge. Let's see if we can get 12 small thrusters. Maybe a medium thruster. Let's see how we do, eh? Um. A cockpit, a headlight, some cargo boxes, an ammo box. Let's get two. So I think that is unlock, unlock five. That's unlock three. So we can we can go unlock five, can't we? Let's get some container extensions as well. Then that's unlock seven. Let's leave that out. Wi-Fi and guns. Two gats. All right, now we need to get this within six thousand CPU. So this badger, just the core, six thousand CPU, and we're using fourteen of that already. Is that just these steel blocks? Now I've just got the core. How is the core using six CPU? It is the CPU. <laughs> That's outrageous. I want my six CPU points. Unbelievable. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Can't win. <laughs> Why is he using CPU? It's trash. Uh, right, okay. I really like Cockpit 8, but it's huge. Uh, I think about, trying to think about the layout of it. Um, okay, I'm gonna see with cockpit eight. I've got an idea. Getting this into CPU limits is gonna be tricky, and making it look good at the same time. I mean, you know. Uh, da -da 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 It's a big old cockpit. It's a big old cockpit. Uh, right, okay, fine. Thrusters. We're going to have one beefy rear medium. No idea what I'm doing right now. Um... <clears throat> what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I can't even. I can't even. Um... All right. A picture something. A picture. Right, let's replace those straight away with steel blocks. This is going to be where incoming fire is going to be coming in, so that should be steel blocks, right? 
then actually let's go with a slightly chunkier one out there. Okay. That's me armor. <laughs> that's that's like the uh, the extent of it anyway. Right, okay. Let's get fuel tanks either side of it there. O2 set back from that there. Okay, fridge. What we got? We need um ammo boxes. All the explosives in one place. It all goes boom, and then it, it all goes boom. It's fine. What are we up to? We're up to 1,300. Okay, we go, we're doing fine. We're doing great. It's a crab. <laughs> you got it. You nailed it already. It's a crab. Five hundred SU ammo capacity. It's fairly reasonable. Uh, what was the container controller that unlocks at level three as well? Let's actually um, let's actually take that away. Eh. Yeah. Let's take put that back like that there. And then uh, if we lock that all off, add another container controller. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> ah, container controller there, and another one there. What are you up to? 1750. Okay, fine. We haven't got lift thrusters yet either. We might even be able to get some mediums in here. That would be the day, wouldn't it? Because we've got quite a lot of points to play with currently. Oof. Oof. That really takes it up. Okay. thousand out of six hundred so we got our container controllers in place yeah we put them there didn't we can't put them there that's fine
don't know. It's going to be a bit un unattractive, really, isn't it? Um, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of these cargo boxes. I don't need those. Thousand SUs of storage, and we're up to three thousand. Um, whatever's CPU, that's the one. bottom to do as well um do you have forward tra facing thrust good point good point no i do not thank you very much boom da boom da boom three five three five cpu get to a point with these cargo extensions where you're like you probably shouldn't add any more <laughs> and just give people the wrong idea in here really because we've got we've still got 2000 odd cpu to take up so you can add a constructor possibly we take these out here put a constructor in and we can stick it on the roof uh could extend the back quite a bit i just need to get rid of this thruster here and move it back a bit we got um some fireworks going on. It's that time of year, ladies and gents, isn't it? Let's add a little bit more stuff. Bits and bobs. Oh, let's add some bits and bobs. Absolutely. Let's add one of those. One of those. That's gonna mm, that's gonna suck a bit. Actually if I move move the thrusters over slightly.
Hmm. It's not November yet, no, but it's, uh, it's Halloween, isn't it, coming up soon, so, yeah. No RCS is in this thing. Um, hopefully we won't need it. I'll see if I can get the Spanish block in there somehow. Don't worry. Don't worry. She usually goes in sort of towards the end when we're doing shaping stuff, so. Uh, yeah, could do something like that, maybe. Anything else we can get in here? And he's got no warp drive or anything. Detectors live at level seven, a bit high. Must be add another thruster in. Double the rear thrust. Double thrust. <laughs> Woo -woo. <laughs> All right, we do need to do the bottom actually before we get too excited. Um. <clears throat> Halloween's. You mean the only day my ex can go out unaided? Merlin, I don't even want to know what that's about. <laughs> Consider that no teenager in the UK has access to firearms. The excitement of fireworks every year usually means they don't have the patience to wait for the 5th of November. <laughs> they just want, they're like Mr. Talk, they just want explosions. Explosions! Armor locker looks so weird at that angle. They do. Yeah, the armor lockers are just a weird model, and, and <laughs> morons around here start the fireworks in September. <laughs> Not all. I hear that. More sponge blocking, I think, is required here. Can I get a bit more shaping around here, do you think? space in there actually. Um, what was that? It was a medium thruster, wasn't it? <laughs> Sticks out a lot. <laughs> nope, maybe not. Maybe if I stick it there though. That'll be alright. A nice shaping around the butt area. I like it. A bit of butt. What are we up to? Let's just make sure we're not over. No, we're over. How did that happen? 
<laughs> Let's take that out again. All right. No, it's still over. Okay, that's enough container extensions. Okay, we're done with the container extensions. We're, we're back to plastic blocks. Five nine two nine. We're bang on. Right. Um, let's just take those out. So we got a little bit of leeway. We haven't got our landing gears on here yet either, so we need to do that as well. We need to do that. Landing gears. I don't know if they take CPU or not. Find out. Where's the slopey slopes? Still, still good, still good, it's still good. Just thought Spanj is Sparky over CPU. <gasps> Sparky? No, he's not. He's fine. He's um, take the RCSs out and um, and he works perfectly, well within CPU. I will re-upload a lot of this stuff. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Well, I like that little the little window at the back there, but bottom there, but uh Actually, can I do this a different way? Can I do it um, using this one? Oh no, there isn't, is there? Oh, there is. A lie, but it's not the right. What oh, is that? Uh, what goes in there? Ain't that one too shallow? That one? Bingo! Like it. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Five nine four seven of six thousand one hundred percent efficient tier zero SV, and it's got constructor O two armor locker. It's a fridge, but he's on top. I'm going to move him. Stop it. Fridge, 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 fridge. the fridge as well uh, a few more little finishy touches
don't think there's uh yeah there is the these ones yes excellent Make these glowy as well to make them extra cool. Piping! No sponge build is complete without a bit of piping. As you all know. A bit more piping. Deluxe piping. And we'll add shiny's textures on that as well. Oh, landing gear. That's what we wanted, wasn't it? T1. T1 landing gears. Any CPU on these? I don't think there is. Whoa! <laughs> Easy, tiger. Um, let's just add one on either side like that and I think that'll be fine and that's fine no CPU required for docking pads love it that's pretty sweet All right, cool little bird that's like it's like uh, SV Sparky uh, one last thing ramp Oh, I wish there was a 32 degree angle one. Ah, uh, uh, that works. Bingo. The armor lock and stuff exposed still, but whatever. That should be fine. Um, could potentially. Just thinking whether I can move these back a block. Have they got. Have they got 375. The two gats. 375 is 3,000 each. Just ludicrous amounts. Hang on. Let's get rid of you two. One, two, five. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know what this is. There. 150? 150? 150! Alright. 150 in each. Drama is there is extensions in every direction other than that, so. Uh, I could take the O2 to turn. No, there's extensions everywhere. The only place to put extend those is into these spaces here, so I think I just have to leave them as is then. Um, I could turn that round. Oh, whoops.
Where's the bloody O2 station gone? <laughs> That's over there. There you go. How did that happen? <laughs> Wait, did did I only have two O2 tanks and I added two more in? All right, let's just fill that up. Fill that up. Wait, there was something missing here. Wasn't there a? What was there? Was there anything there? Is there a thruster there? I've got four. Yeah, I got all the thrusters. That's fine. Must have been an extension. Doesn't matter. Five nine five five no 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 detectors no detector. It's level seven the detector. So, um, but you can very easily add one in underneath these pipes. But you are gonna take yourself over CPU. But to be fair, by fifty fifty CPU. Will take you over the limit by five. <laughs> so let's. In that case, I forgot what block that was. What block was that? <laughs> uh, it was this one, wasn't it? There we go. Okay. So that. There you go. You can add a detector in now put a detector in just literally like rip one of these pipe blocks up and the block underneath it and you can put a detector in um, I just want to cover up these I don't know how that happened There we go. Ah, damn it. That's a bit, that's a bit ugly. Can I... What level are you? Five. You're fine. A bit of a haphazard kind of... I can add a signal on it maybe and um but yeah there's 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 still room in there for the detector. Um there we go. Let's see how she flies. Wub it up it up. Rotation's a bit slow. She flies. She flies, baby. I mean, it could save some CPU. I could take, I could take everything out apart from the O2 and the um, possibly the O2 station. <clears throat> I love the view from this cockpit, man. It's so good. The little. Ew. Awesome. Big old lag spike. We're in atmosphere. It's got a max speed of seventy. Using reasonable power amounts. Like I said, the rotation's a bit slow, but uh, left to right's alright. Eh, reasonably. She could probably do with an RCS. 
she's not overly um, she's not got a great big footprint so I suppose thruster spread isn't all that much she's doing alright though through the trees no fly no fly uh, I can't see <laughs> seems all right inverted upside down through a forest yeah baby the up and down is a bit twitchy. It's uh, the roll is a bit lax. Everything else seems to be fine. We're a hover vessel now, baby. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, she'll do. <laughs> uh, well. Yeah. Here we go. I <clears throat> uh, don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah, tier zero starter SV, less than six thousand CPU, uh, two GATs. Enough CPU left in there to get a detector when you reach level 7. But at the moment she is, let me just confirm. Um, unlock level. Where is that? Well, she is unlock level 7 actually. What has she got in here that's level 7? Uh, constructor. Right, okay. Well in that case I may as well put a CPU in then, isn't it? Or do I take the constructor out and leave the space for it? Would be good to have a level five, wouldn't it? Would be good to have a level five. Let's take the constructor out, leave the space for it. Right. Hello, level seven still. Uh, what is that then? Armor lock is five, O2 station is three. Um, constructor's out. Is it the medium thrusters, is it? Ah, damn it, it is the medium thrusters. Ah, oh, nightmare. Nightmare. So, yeah, I've got mediums on the lift, the forward, and the reverse. Again, I could take them out and just put smalls in their place, which would mean that this is an upgradable craft. Um, the container controllers, I think. Are five, uh, are not three and three, yeah, so they're fine. Yeah, I think it's these thrusters. That's okay. Let's get it down to level five. Let's just add the smalls in. That's going to reduce our CPU quite significantly as well. Very easy now to upgrade that to still unlock seven. What the hell? <laughs> what am I missing? What is it? Is it you? No, you're five. Ramps. Freaking ramps. Ramp shutters of all things. God damn it. <laughs> oh dear. Look at the tech tree. Yeah. Wait, seven. Yeah, the thrusters M's. It's these freaking things. Why are these seven? That's ridiculous. Ugh. That ruins everything. Ruins everything! <laughs> God damn it. Nah, it's the...
Fine, it's a level seven, hey. <laughs> Screw you. I will not compromise on that. <laughs> We we do know that, right? Bloody level seven now, isn't it? Right. Ramps. Seriously, they didn't even have force fields in them, and it's like, oh, level seven. Why? Make the shutter doors level seven. Make the ramps five. It still wouldn't help me, but whatever. Anyway, we put a detector in it now, can't we? There you go, right. To be taint painted and textured. Um... Yeah, I haven't got time to do that now, right now, unfortunately, but there we go. That is... Let's just double-check CPU. 5982 of 6000 CPU. Um, just replace the ramp with a block, but leaving space behind it for the constructor. Then, upon the upgrade, remove the block, put the ramp back in. Down thrust. Yeah, you got down thrust. you got these little ones. Down. Up. Forward. Left. Right. Reverse. All the thrust is there. Yeah, I might, I might uh, fiddle with it a little bit more off camera. AC. I've um, sort of run out of time, but the point is, you can make a pretty reasonable SV starter at least. Um, I still think. Oh yeah, that's the other thing, isn't it? Shift... What? Shift W is changed to Control W and you have to hold it. And then you can let go. You have to like hold it until that little arrow on the right goes all the way to the top. But what it does mean is you can actually... Um, you can actually get it to move really slowly forward now. Look at that. Controlled. I can just make make it move at 42%. Or at 20%. <laughs> it's quite cool. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but yeah, there we go. Very slow moving SVs, if you want to. Quite cool little cruise control. But yeah, there we go, guys. We can make. I think CV still need a bit of work on the numbers. Uh, yeah. I get that. Obviously, they want to. They want have a function, but like most of my CVs have a function, apart from the Nagger and the Superlifter, which are jack of alls. But like uh, the the ST range is all. They're all lifters and haulers. And yeah, they've got constructors and guns on them, but they're not anything like crazy. If I had the full 60 turret assortment on them as well, then yeah, I'd have a, I'd, I'd be alright with it. Like, you know, the Naga is the same. She's got six full... No, she's got more than that. She's got like 12 full 320 stack cargo boxes. More lift capacity than you can shake a stick at. And all the guns in the world. That's definitely going to be over CPU. But like the st 3 it's got a few cannon turrets on it, you know? No shields. Just... Cargo and lift. So yeah. Uh, will you revisit these builds after the experiment drops next week? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll revisit and we'll have a look, see what the numbers um, look like. Um, but at least for the moment, I think for the most part, you're going to be okay if you want to play with CPU. It's going to be a challenge. Like, this this SV actually is kind of fun to build. 
within the uh, 6,000. It makes you think about what you can have. It's easy to build like a, a starter ship and just have everything in it, warp drive and everything. Nightshade Mark V, for example. Um, so it does give you a little bit of a challenge in that respect in the build. So that's pretty good. But yeah, um, some of the more advanced stuff, I think, still needs some work. But there we go. This little this little devil was pretty good actually for a tier zero SV. That's no RCSs at all. This thing flies all right. Flies pretty well. <laughs> nice. Um, I like my CVs to make its own ammo. Yeah, exactly. You know, you li I think it's fair enough to have a at least a constructor in a CV and some storage and stuff. Yeah, boost won't get me over seventy meters a second. That's the max. Um, it's something else to play with, yeah, exactly. God forbid you put an RCS in it. <laughs> How much cargo capacity does it have overall? What, this thing? We've got two container controllers with 3,000 SU. Two ammo controllers with 200 SU. 199. So they'll take about 6,000 rounds of ammo. And whatever you can get into 3,000 SU. So yeah, six two hundred. It's all right. It will, it will get you around in those early early hours of the game. Yeah, level five is HV. I think you get level seven really easy. I mean, I've never really struggled to get levels before, except on uh, Project Eden on the Dead Planet, where there's just like all you've got are some mushrooms. And exploring and some drones if you manage to get off the planet but then you've got an SV already yeah but in the normal game yeah yeah easy to get level 7 um, slow thrust is super cool test its weight capacity I can't do it right now I'll, I'll do it another time but uh, try to hide the toolbar does the new bar over it also hide I know I've remapped my height toolbar buttons. <laughs> yeah, it just cuts away. You can turn, you can turn the whole thing off, but not just the toolbar. Uh, can't wait until they start making huge towns and such. That'd be cool. Mm. Yeah, the new HUD is pretty cool. It's quite, it's quite cool. It's quite immersive flying around in that with this thing, this um, HUD going on. It's nice. But anyway, right. That's going to be all for today, guys. Oh, yeah. We just suddenly stopped dead for some reason. Hang on, I think I'm messing up with the cruise control again. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> what am I doing? This is going to take some getting used to. A whole new cruise thing. I don't know what. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining me today. Uh, much appreciated. Hope you found this useful. Um, hopefully less infuriating than, than maybe you were expecting. I don't know. Still infuriating, maybe. <laughs> but don't forget, you can turn CPU off. You don't have to play with it. I involved. certainly will not be playing with it enabled in my Project Eden Let's Play. That's for sure. Um, the next series, yeah, probably will turn it on and have a tinker. But for now, yeah, I'm just going to leave off. I'll be building with it. I'll be building with it, but that's about it. I won't be playing with it. There we go. Um, but thanks, everybody, for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. And hopefully I'll see you during the week, as normal, for some Project Eden on YouTube. Thank you very much for all the follows, the bits, um, and everything in between. Johnny. Espineos Operator Who um, Fluff as well Big thanks for the bits over on Twitch You guys are awesome You guys on YouTube are awesome as well Stay awesome guys Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday If you've got any of it left I always have a wonderful week I'll see you next Sunday for more Chilling in the Building Until then Take care 
拜拜。